Okay, guys, get your red pen or colored pen or colored pencil or something other than your regular pencil to grade 575, 576 with me. This is subtracting like fractions. What is the similarity between adding like fractions and subtracting like fractions? How are they the same? Good. We only deal with the numerators, right? And we leave the denominators alone. So let's begin. 4, 6 minus 3, 6. 4 minus 3 is 1 out of 6. 9 twelfths minus 4 twelfths. 9 minus 4 is 5 out of 12. 6 tenths minus 3 tenths. 6 minus 3 is 3 out of 10. 4 fifths minus 2 fifths. 4 minus 2 is 2 out of 5. Table shows the difference of several like fractions. Well, we have 4 fifths minus 1 fifth. The difference is... 3 fifths, because 4 minus 1 is 3. 7 eighths minus 3 eighths is 4 eighths, and in simplest form, that's half. 9 tenths minus 6 tenths is 3 tenths, because 9 minus 6 is 3. What do you notice? Good. Denominators stay the same. So it says write a rule that you can use to subtract like fractions. So write a rule. So only subtract the numerator. The difference is the new numerator over the same denominator, okay? Now use that rule to answer 11 twelfths minus 8 twelfths. 11 minus 8 is 3, and the denominator is 12. Okay. Find each unknown, and you didn't have to use fraction tiles, but you could have if they helped or if you made some, or if you use that online thing I gave you the link to. Two-fourths minus one-fourth. Two minus one is one out of four. Five-eighths minus two-eighths. Five minus two is three out of eight. Seven-tenths minus three-tenths is four out of ten. And five-sixths minus four-sixths. Five minus four is one out of six. Pretty straightforward, guys, on this first page. A lot of just simple subtraction. 4 minus 3, 6 minus 3, 9 minus 4, 4 minus 2. That's stuff you can do. As long as you remember to leave the denominator the same. Okay. Let's go on to the next page. Anne ate two slices of pizza and Teresa ate three slices of pizza. The pizza had eight slices. What is the difference in the amount of pizza that they ate written as a fraction? Well, how many total slices did we have? Eight, just like we see here in this picture. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And I want to know the difference in the amount that they ate. What is a difference? Good, it's the answer and subtraction. So Anne ate two. Teresa ate three. And again, what was the total? Eight. So, and which is bigger? What Teresa ate, three, or what Anne ate, two? Good, three is bigger, so that comes first in her... Subtraction problem. We can't forget those rules. So Teresa ate 3 out of 8. Anne ate 2 out of 8. I want the difference, so I need to do 3 eighths minus 2 eighths, and that is 1 eighth of the pizza. Okay. All right, number 13. Virginia had 8 twelfths of the pictures left on her memory card. Then she took off 7 twelfths of the pictures. What fraction of the pictures does she have left? What are the key words here that I notice? Yes, have left. That means I want to subtract. What's another clue that I'm subtracting? Good, the words took off. That's kind of like take away, which is, again, subtraction. So we have 8 twelfths and 7 twelfths, and I want to know what she has left. So 8 twelfths is bigger. 8 twelfths minus 7 twelfths gives us one twelfth of the pictures left. Okay. Four fifths minus one fifth. Draw a model. So we need to have how many piece, total pieces? Five. Good. So let's see. We got one fifth, one fifth, one fifth, one fifth, one fifth. Because out of five means there were five total pieces. Okay. And I have four-fifths colored in, right? 
That's my four fifths. But now I want to take away one of those. So I'm going to get rid of that. So what does that leave me with? One, two, three fifths. So that's how you can represent it with a model. Okay, and our last question, how is subtracting like fractions similar to adding like fractions? We kind of talked about this at the beginning, right? The denominator stays the same. We only subtract or add the numerator. Anything along that line is a wonderful answer. Okay? Leave me how you did, a gold, silver, or a bronze. How many you got wrong? If you have any questions, let me know, and we can go over it some more. Otherwise, this reviewing this should help you on your next assignment. Okay, guys? Thanks. Bye.